Hey, my name is Senka. As everyone knows, I'm really interested in pushing the boundaries of the possible uh, and doing that in a repeatable way. So like everybody knows, I do the spoon bending, um, we do remote viewing, we talk to past loved ones. All these things are really pushing the envelope. But I can tell you that I've witnessed more magic by living my purpose. And it's magic that actually matters because bending a spoon doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> so this is why I'm passionate about uh, the Purpose Lab that we're doing and about this in general. Number one, when I started living my purpose, I started realizing that things were gonna be even better than I had ever imagined, right? So it's like that Joseph Campbell um, quote that says, you know, follow your bliss and doors will open for you that you didn't even know existed, right? So there's this thing that when you're in, and I think it has to do with the heart. So Dan Winters has done a lot of research on how the heart actually beats and it actually implodes into kind of like that, that tyroidal feel, that mushroom cloud thing, boom, right? So it feeds back into itself. And when you're in a high state of bliss or joy, um, you basically are taking the fractal of your field and you're pushing it out into the world and it, it goes a little bit bigger than it would normally. Just like if you're six feet away from someone and you're in love, that's going to reach them. And then fear collapses your, your field back down. So I guess the question I'm, I'm asking right now is how is it that people that are excited to wake up in the morning, doing what they're passionate about, doing what they love, bringing their gifts, why do good things seem to happen to them? Why do things seem to line up for them? Why do they get opportunities that, that come out of the blue? And I, I would argue that number one, it could be this physics thing, you know, where, where you're actually resonating at a higher rate, right? Cause we're all energy and you're attracting those best case scenario. You're attracting plan a into your life. Now we all know that we're working on creating the inner state in order to create the outer state, right? So the inner world, your inner world is creating your outer world, or you can basically just react to your outer world. And that is not always so productive because you don't have as much control over the mathematics and the, and the way that that presents. So a lot of finding your purpose comes from going back down into your core essence, right? Your essence, like what is your essence? And understanding that then can have a multiple different career paths and things that you do and, and purposes can change over time. I guess what I'm saying is I'm fascinated by how statistically when you're on your purpose, if you say, oh, um, you're, you're not going to be um, able to make a living doing what you love, or you're not going to be able to get that book published or whatever it is. Right. But when you're in that, when you're truly in that, and when it's truly aligned, somehow, somehow you meet the guy in the grocery store that leads to the next person that opens the door for you, et cetera, et cetera. So your purpose is something as, as, as the flow genome project discovered is something that you're so curious about. You show up for every day, every day, all the time. And you wake up and you're excited that showing up again and again also can't help, but get results over time. Now we have not done a great job about carving time for our hobbies and for our passion projects, which then grow and lead into something bigger. But I'm going to tell you right now, um, that the statistics that come out about this stuff is absolutely horrifying. And it's something that I really want to change in this world because According to statistics, only 5% are living their purpose and 10%, only 10% even know what it is. So we're saying that this is the best part of your life, the, the, the most exciting adventure you'll ever be on. And only 10% are on that adventure of like, 
I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to walk forward and doors are going to open and it's going to happen. That's, that's incredible. It's as if our mind has taken over our reality and told, told ourselves what is or is not possible. On the flip side, 76% of people die regretting not doing what they truly wanted to do, not following their soul's calling, living for other people, living into the should do this, should do that, should do that. Now, because we've been so shoulded in our lives, and I'm removing that word from my vocabulary, by the way, we have, when you see someone living in their purpose, they are on fire. It's like they are free. Have you ever seen someone just speak freely? Not about like, oh, uh, you know, you know, like rights or whatever, but I'm just saying like freely, they're actually who they are unapologetically and they just get excited about whatever they're getting excited about. And what happens is two things happen. Number one, people get attracted into that quality of freedom, that essence of freedom that they're, that, and it encourages other people. I want to be myself too. I want to say that too. I want to do that too. And number two, it attracts other people like, yeah, I'm really a geek on that too. I wish someone else had brought that up. I was too nervous to bring that up or I didn't know there was anybody else who cared about that. So it's, there's a lot of benefits to, to finding purpose. And I'm excited because we are entering the phase three of our projects, phase three of three. So this is really the full circle. Number one, we interviewed the 5%. How'd you find your purpose? What did you do? What are the methods? How did it work? Right. And putting that into our collective intelligence search engine. And number two, we, we analyze for patterns. And do you want to know what the biggest pattern is? Courage. It takes a lot of courage because your, your passion is something you gravitate to, but you're not an expert in it yet, perhaps. You just are curious about it, right? And so there's a lot of courage that has to go into even diving in there, learning more, getting out of your comfort zone, because if it was, if it's your purpose, it should scare you and excite you at the same time, to quote Tim Kelly of the, of the True Purpose Institute. So it's it's really interesting. And 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 that that courage is something that it's easier to do together when you're with a group. And that's our last phase is to take eight people that you're actually calling the people in your team together because you get in these teams, you're like, wow, I can't believe the synchronicities. I can't believe that person is in my team. They're saying this thing because a part of you is also saying that thing. A part of you has a lot of resistance. So I just wanna say that it will be very interesting to see our teams starting next week go through this process. We have all these different methodologies that we're using. So each week we, we present a different method and we spend time to actually do that. And then we reflect on it. And those realizations that taking the time for yourself, because when do we really take the time for ourselves? Never. And then we're 20 years into a career that we don't like, or we're, we're not feeling that deepest fulfillment that is right there and available. So this, I feel like is the adventure of my life has been really saying, okay, I want to build a search engine think tank for miracles and crazy things that uh, can be repeatable, but the things that break our understanding of reality, I want to study that. And it's really happened. And over the last couple of years, and it wouldn't have happened if I didn't have a true North, it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't said, this is who I am. This is my burning desire. And this is where I'm the best contribution to society. So it becomes that icky guy, guy of win-win, right? Where, where you're actually contributing in a way that, that is most beneficial. Information about how to join the teams is below. Um, Lightnetstore.org. We have a couple small scholarships left, probably only one at this point, because I think someone just grabbed another one. But this is a chance, uh, I think there's two teams that have availability. This is a chance to really give yourself what 
your soul is calling for, this constant reminder over and over again. And everything you've done up until now is leading you to this moment, to this adventure where, where you say, I cannot believe that just happened. Doors will open for you uh, when you're on your purpose.